Oh man, look at that. This this truck's orange. Wow, yeah. It's giving them a little, a little love, fellas. Making it look easy. This one, I think. Uh huh. This one was sitting up in my dad's barn for a little while. Okay. I saw a little scuff on it. Yeah. Like, uh, pretty nice. Little old truck. Started in like uh, the nineties, actually. Volkswagen. There you go. Secret. But you can put it down if you can easily. Right. I thought. Oh, that's Ringo was not firmly set in there. You know, you guys have a Ringo Flamingo? How about a cool 70 Chevelle? Yeah. Oh wow. What about a GMC Sonoma? Coolest pink flamingo I've seen. Ringo the Flamingo. Tell me what you guys think. You want to see a Sonoma build? 
I'm gonna be there for the Chevelle build. We're gonna be doing it. It's just, do you wanna come along? Let me know in the comments and we'll uh, catch you guys on the next video. All right, guys, so yesterday was uh, wash and clean day and uh, man, what a difference. Get all the dust off, clean some stuff up. Now it feels like uh, you've got a real sense of accomplishment when you come out into the shop and you see uh, shiny stuff. Now, this. Not everybody's favorite body style Corvette, but this thing was super clean and it was priced right. And the drivetrain in this would go in this old Chevelle here and be like some of the most awesome stuff, right? So yeah, let's look at this Corvette and talk about it for a minute. Let me let it down. So what we've got here is a 1980 Corvette and Man, it has been taken care of. Um, new interior in it. The paint is nice on this car. It's got decent wheels on it and tires. Got this uh, hood style here. What is this hood style, guys? Leave me a comment if you know what that scoop design is. I know it's got a L and a number. Yeah, and the reason why this car was purchased is right here. So it's got a 502 GM crate motor. And these things, they don't sell them. They're not cheap, fellas. Uh, you know, it's been put together with the old stainless hose covers and all of that weirdness. But uh, it, it starts, runs, and drives excellent. And not a lot of miles on it. So what a great power plant to transplant into your, your old Corvette. And that was the thinking when the Corvette was purchased, its whole purpose. And yeah, the guy that owns it fell in love with the, with the Corvette. Um, not so much the body style, but the seat of the pants driving the car. And I've tried for two years to get him talked into pulling this motor out and I just can't make him do it. He loves the car. He wants to buy a whole nother motor now for the Chevelle. So um, this car, Everything was cool until one day it wasn't. Like the hood got shut and this cable that runs across from side to side on the Corvette um, to pop the latch, because you have two latches on the hood, it, I don't know, something broke. The hood one side would unlatch, but the other side wouldn't. So uh, last night we worked and got the hood opened on it. Car fired back up and I uh, pulled the air cleaner off just to look. It's got some vacuum lines that are cracked and deteriorated. So little vacuum leaks and stuff, you know, we're just going through working on a few things and I wanted to show you what we were gonna do here. So um, we got a exhaust hangers that are missing or bolts have come out. We've got to fix a couple of those things and it's got a power steering leak. We're trying to figure out exactly where it comes from. Let's raise this dude back up and get to work. So what you got for whatever reason, this uh, muffler, the bracket got bent. It slid out of this little hanger back here. So pretty straightforward. We just got to straighten this thing up, get this slid back up inside of here. And uh, yeah, get this, get this hung up. gonna take a minute
got to you got to be careful when you do something like this that you're not jacking and putting too much pressure on the car but all we had to do was just hold this muffler up kind of push it in place and then it took a bunch of clamping and bending around but hey we got it back under here so this side of the exhaust is held up and then the next step is uh moving forward you got these and there's no bolt in either side here that'll take a lot of pressure off of that back if you have those bolts in there i believe so got to find some kind of rubber insulator to put in it make a hole yeah bolt it in all right Dredging through the depth. 